By assigning GPS coordinates, you are able to see the location of each logger within Google Earth. All three loggers had consistent noise during the night. The logger on the left being the quietest of the three, with a leak value of 45. This had a minimum decibel value of 13. The logger in the middle was the loudest of the three with a leak value of 81. This had a minimum dB value of 21. The logger on the right hand side, this was slightly quieter than the logger in the middle with a leak value of 72. This had a minimum decibel value of 20. Logging alone gave us enough information to determine that the leak was between the two loggers with the highest leak value and closer to the logger with the leak value of 81. Knowing the material, size and length of pipe between loggers, in this case 326 feet of 2 inch galvanized steel, we were able to determine a leak position through correlation data. As seen in the software, we had a very good quality correlation between these two loggers, pinpointing the leak at 112.1 feet from the centre logger. Using the real-time correlator, sensor A was placed on the middle valve location and sensor B was placed on the right-hand valve location. Inputting the same parameters, i.e. 326 feet of 2-inch galvanized steel, a leak position was determined, 110.9 feet from sensor A and 215.1 feet from sensor B. Here is a picture taken of the Aquascan 610 display screen showing a measurement of 110.9 feet from sensor A. This is only 1.2 feet different than the Zone Scan 820 correlation, which put the leak position at 112.1 feet from the same location. Having confirmed the spot with the Aquascope 3 ground mic, digging began. The pipe had to be completely exposed before there was any sign of the leak.
that's all I got two different readings of correlation. Two leaks were found around about 12 inches apart. Digging carried on further up the pipe, as it was suspected that there may have been a third leak, but this turned out not to be the case. The pipe was cleaned, ready for repair. Here we see one of the leaks already clamped, with the second about to be. After the repairs were complete, we re-correlated to double check that there were no further leaks. The exposed hole is backfilled with sand. Leak localised, pinpointed, excavated and repaired, all within 24 hours. <laughs> 